Welcome to Random MCQ Lecture Series. I am John, and today, we are going to discuss, electric circuits. What is an electric circuit? An electric circuit is an interconnection of simple electrical devices that have at least one closed path in which current may flow. The ideal circuit elements are the resistor, the inductor, the capacitor, and the voltage and current sources. This means that any complex electrical or electronic circuit can be modeled by a combination of these circuit elements. Electric circuits are the most fundamental structures of electrical engineering. It is important in electrical engineering because, they process electrical signals, which carry energy and information. To understand electric circuits, one must understand the basic concepts of the electric parameters, like charges, voltage and current. A charge is responsible for an electric field and charges exert forces on each other. A charges could either be a positive charge, or a negative charge. Like charges repel, whereas unlike charges attract. Electric charge, and its movement, are the most basic items of interest in electrical engineering. Charges in motion results to electric current. For the charge in motion to become an electric current, there must be a path through which it can flow easily by the movement of electrons. Materials through which charge flows readily recalled conductors. Examples include most metals, such as silver, gold, copper, and aluminum. Copper is used extensively in the fabrication of electrical wires. Insulators are materials that do not allow charge to move easily. Examples include glass, plastic, ceramics, and rubber. Semiconductors re materials whose properties lie between conductors and insulators, and have a moderate resistance to the flow of charge. Examples include silicon, germanium, and gallium arsenide. What is current? The rate of movement of net positive charge per unit of time through a cross section of a conductor is known as current. The SI unit of current is the ampere, A, which represents 1 coulomb per second. In metallic conductors, such as copper wires, current is the movement of free electrons in the wire. What is electric potential and voltage? Electric potential refers to the potential energy that a charge at a given point possess, when acted upon by an electric force. The point where electric potential is zero is known as the reference point or ground point, with respect to which potentials at other points are then described. The potential difference, or voltage, is the difference in electric potential between two points. The unit of voltage is volts. What are sources and loads? A source-load combination is shown in this figure. A voltage rise indicates an electric source, with the charge being raised to a higher potential, whereas a voltage drop, indicates a load, with a charge going to a lower potential. The voltage across the source is the same as the voltage across the load. The current delivered by the source goes through the load. What is a resistor? A resistor is one of the most commonly used components in electronics. Its purpose is to limit a flow of current and impose a reduction in voltage. It consists of two wires or conductors attached at opposite ends or sides of a material. What is resistance? Resistance is the property of the resistor that describes its ability to oppose current. The resistance of a resistor depends on the type of material, the length of the material and its cross-sectional area. This can be represented by the formula R is equal to resistivity, ρ multiplied by length, L and divided by the cross-sectional area, A. The longer the material is, the higher is the resistance and the bigger the cross-sectional area, the lower the resistance. The resistivity of different materials are given as follows. In this table, carbon is the most resistive element and copper is the least resistive. This is the schematic symbol of the resistor and the unit of resistance is ohms and uses the symbol omega. A capacitor consists of two conductors separated by an insulator. The capacitor has two spaced conducting plates that can be rectangular, as shown, but that often are circular. The insulator between the plates is called a dielectric. The chief feature of a capacitor is its ability to store electric charge, with negative charge on one of its two conductors and positive charge on the other. This is the common schematic symbol of a capacitor. What is capacitance? Capacitance, is the electrical property of capacitors, it is a measure of the ability of a capacitor to store charge on its two conductors, specifically, if the potential difference between the two conductors is V volts when there is a positive charge of Q coulombs on one conductor, and a negative charge of the same amount on the other, the capacitor has a capacitance of, C equals Q divided by V, where C is the quantity symbol of capacitance. 
the SI unit of capacitance if the farad, with symbol F. Unfortunately, the farad is much too large a unit for practical applications, and the microfarad F and picofarad PF are much more common. What is an inductor? An inductor, is a passive electronic component, which is capable of storing electrical energy, in the form of magnetic energy. Basically, it is a conductor that is wound into a coil, and when electricity flows into it, this will generate a magnetic field. What is inductance? Inductance, is a measure of the amount of electromotive force, or, voltage, generated for a given rate of change of current. For example, an inductor with an inductance of 1 Henry, produces an EMF of 1 volt, when the current through the inductor changes at the rate of 1 ampere per second. Voltage is generated in the inductor when there is a change in current flowing through the coil. What are the factors affecting inductance? The amount of inductance in an inductor is dependent on, a. The number of turns of wire in the inductor. b. The material of the core. c. The shape and size of the core. d. The shape, size, and arrangement of the wire making up the coils. What is electrical induction? A changing magnetic field results in a potential difference commonly known as voltage in a conductor. There are two types of induction, self-induction, and mutual induction. Self-induction. When time-varying current flows in a coil, the time-varying flu is produced, and this varying flux will link with that coil itself, and as a result there will be EMF induced in the coil. Mutual inductance. When time-varying current flows in a coil, it produces time-varying flux, as we have already told. This time-varying flux, may link with another nearby coil. Due to this flux linkage there will be an induced EMF in the second coil. Thank you for watching our video. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Visit our website, www.randommcq.com for access to thousands of MCQ practice questions. Links are in the description below. Comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Click the button below now.